Now, let's go to page 145. Well, let me ask you, what would be the next menu you need to configure? According to what you see in, in Ravi. Time radius. Time radius, and, yeah. right? You don't even have to go to the book. Just look at the menus and what's after SIP entities? Time. What's after entity links? Time radius. Because you could configure uh, later the policy to only be active certain uh, on a certain time. Uh, time ranges. There is a 24 by 7 time range by default. You don't have to configure it. It's there. Sometimes you don't see it there, but it's there. 24 by 7. You don't have to configure that one. Here in the lab, we're going to be using that time range, 24 by 7. You don't need to... We're not going to configure another. However, let me show you how you would configure it in case you ever have to do it. Because it's a... The way you configure a time range, I'm gonna use, notice that in this lab, it's not showing the 24 by seven. No, it's not. Normally it shows once you create a network routing policy and the 24 by seven is there. You know, once you commit to that, you'll get to see it in the time ranges. Ah, actually, notice that now it's showing. So only with you going to the routing policies and opening or trying to create a new one, now it's displaying. So. It's there, the 24 by 7 is there. Let's suppose that you don't want to use that one. What you would do, let's suppose that I want to create a time range for the weekends because I want I want this session to route to a special place over the weekends. So because the way this is laid out, you would need to create three time ranges. And stay here with me. So maybe something that's called weekend Friday. And that's going to be... Friday and only Friday from what like 17 which would be 5 p.m. to 23.59 and commit I'm gonna use a new one which is weekend Saturday and Sunday Saturday and Sunday from uh, midnight to 23.59. You see how I'm doing it? And then I'm missing the one for Monday. Monday, uh, let's actually call this weekend Monday. It's gonna be Monday from midnight to maybe 7.59, something like that. Right and commit. And later, when I create the routing policy, which is the next step, I create a new routing policy. Instead of using the 24 by 7 here, I would use, I need to give it a name, let's say route to CM, whatever. And then I would configure here. Right, the three time ranges and remove the 24 by 7. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So within these time ranges, I'm gonna apply that policy. That's how you would do it. Again, here in the lab, we're not gonna be routing based on time, but this is how you would do it. I cancel this. Those are time ranges. Now, routing policies gonna be the next step. And creating the routing policy, it's a little bit, it's interesting because you're gonna see that you kind of create an empty routing policy. So when you create the routing policy, you give, you give the routing policy a name, and then you specify the SIP entity as destination. And then you're able to specify a dial pattern that you wanna associate to the routing policy. However, the reason why I'm saying that this is kind of tricky or interesting is because you cannot add new dial patterns from this page, only existing dial patterns. So if I, click, if I try to click on add, I can only add existing dial patterns. But maybe you don't have the dial pattern defined yet. So what I'm saying is that if you go to the routing policy, I'm gonna go back, pretend that this is the one that you're gonna be creating in a few minutes route to CM lab one. 
Zip entity as destination is going to be your CN. This one here. Boom. Time range, 24 by 7. I'm, I'm just going to leave it like that. And this is the tricky part. So you see dial patterns, and you're going to try to create a dial pattern here. And you're going to go and click on Add. But you cannot add anything here because all you can do is add existing dial patterns. But there, you haven't created a single dial pattern yet, so actually there's nothing much you can do. All you can do at this point is commit and then go to the next menu, create the dial pattern and associate it to the routing policy. Okay. You know, similar in CM when you end up creating a signaling group with no trunk group, then you go to the trunk group, right? And uh, uh, and then you have to come back to the signaling group and mm -hmm. yeah. not the same, yeah, not the same thing, but kind of similar. So you kind of create an empty routing policy, and then you go to the other pattern, create the pattern, and associate it with the routing policy. Okay, let's see. So routing policies. Describe the statements that best describe routing policies. require that pattern then they do require that pattern maybe not at the very beginning but they do require at some point a dial pattern to be associated to it and this is not true because normally for zip to zip calls you don't need a routing policy right this is the registry, this is the registry routing mm -hmm. okay dial patterns and regular expressions so a dial pattern specifies which routing policy is used to route a call Based on the machine, based on matching the digits dialed by the user. Here are some examples of valid patterns. So, valid digits are zero to to nine. Valid characters for the leading position are plus, star, and pound. So here the star is no longer a wildcard. Could be one of the matching digits. The only wild card you have is lower X. Yeah. Like in ARS. Huh? It's like in ARS. Like in ARS or AR, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. X in lowercase, the only wild card character. White spaces are not allowed. And again, yeah. Star and pound are not wild cards. They could be part of the pattern. Longer matches get a higher priority over shorter matches. And that's expected, right? right. You could change that behavior though in session manner there is a setting, but it makes sense, right? That's the default. Mm -hmm. Once you specify the pattern, the next step is going to be associating the originating locations that are going to be able to use the routing policy that's going to be associated to the pattern. This is, what, this is when locations are important because you could say only these locations are going to be able to use the policy. And what you could also deny some locations from accessing the policy. And then it's not shown here, but then you associate to the routing policy that you want to associate to. Mm -hmm. Now, regular expressions. A regular expression is pretty much similar to a dial pattern. The only difference with a dial pattern is that a regular expression can be alphanumeric while the dial pattern is only numeric. Okay, regular expressions can be alphanumeric. So what's the benefit? Well, I mean, with regular expressions, you could route to things based on names. That's one thing you could do. Another thing you could do with regular expressions is compress a lot of dial patterns under only one single expression. Like for example, here there's there is this example where they show you. So what they're doing here is this pattern, zip column. So the first two digits are always 12. And then the next two digits could be anything between 5 to 9. If 
I wanna configure what's written here with dial patterns, I could do it, but I would need a bunch of dial patterns to specify that behavior. Mm. You see? So this allows you to, under one expression, and CM also has this, it's just that we don't know about it, but we could use regular expressions on CF. You know, things that they will look complicated as this, and then you're like, I have no idea what this is. But CM has regular expressions as well, and they allow you to compress a bunch of dial patterns under one single line. The last two, that's the number of digits after the 12? Yeah. So, so the way you read this is, yeah. the first two digits are always 12. So basically it's anything from 1250 to 1299. To 1250, uh, yeah, uh, no. No? 1250 uh, to 1250. Digit length, right? 5 to 9 or digit length? Yeah. Oh, digit length. Yeah, so it's 1, 2, extra no, no, no. sets. No, no, no. Actually, no, you're right. You're going the right way. The next two digits would be either 5 to 9. Right, so 1250 to 1299. No, because 1250 is not allowed. Because 0 is not allowed. Only digits between 5 to 9 in the... In the oh. 1255. 1255 to 1259. 1265. 1260. No, yes. Yeah, that's 60. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you can't do 1245. No. Because 4 is not in that range. Yeah, you see? Oh and boy. so, if I want to do that with dial patterns, it would yeah. be a bunch of dial patterns. You get credits for that? <laughs> and also, as we see in this next slide, it's useful if you want to route based on names. And they give you an example here where if you're trying to integrate session man with modular messaging, you want to you wanna tell session manager uh, that when it receives a request going to this URI, mm at avaya.com, notice that doesn't have, doesn't have an, uh, an extension now. Right. Doesn't have digits, has a name. So by using this, you're able to say, hey, session one, every time you receive this, send it to the modular message. And this case is for the message waiting indicator yeah. to work. You see, so it's an example of a, a, a case where you do need to route based on names. Okay. Yesterday I was telling you that I think that in the future we're gonna be routing based on names and probably we won't have an extension number associated to us. Not right now, but in the future, because think about this. I mean, you really have something that's completely unique, which is your email address. Right. You have a corporate email address and a personal email address. So in the future, I think that, I mean, since we're all dialing from now the smartphones, I mean, you're probably just pressing something, and that something is gonna be uh, associated to a contact, and the contact, all you need it's an email address and somehow it will reach you. You know, that's what I think. In the future we won't be dialing extension numbers, but more like you do in a Skype. -y. You just go to the person, double click, and you talk to the person, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need to dial a number. Okay. Let's, let's see, select statements that best describe dial patterns. Not regular expressions, but dial patterns. A is true. I didn't yeah. see. I think A is true. A is true. We're used too much digits dialed to an endpoint that doesn't have a communication for us. Yeah. Right. What about B? Are always associated with a corresponding routing policy. That's true. Okay. I don't think C is. C is not true because that's actually a regular expression. That would be a regular expression, but this is a dial pattern. Remember that dial okay. patterns are just numeric. Yeah, I figured D's yeah, are D's. And D, you don't know it yet. But this is not true because you at least need to associate to right. one location. So the no locations. The no locations make it, say, make well, it, even put not, it in. Yeah. So it would be just A and B. 
Lab. Awesome. Let's see what time it is. A and B. This is the lab that I actually do want to walk you through <laughs> because it has a bunch of stuff. Because at this point, what you're going to be doing, uh, <laughs> well, first, you're going to configure a uh, phone. It says to statically assign your HC23 phone. Okay, so this is for in, in case you have never done it. Your HC23 phone is going to be uh, configured statically with these parameters that you see here. And then you're going to go via ASA or PADI in case you don't have ASA, however you want to do it, and to your CM because you're going to create a trunk, a zip trunk between CM and session manager. That needs to happen before you configure any routing going from session manager to CM. So you're gonna create a trunk and it's, right now that CM, if you see, it's kind of empty, has nothing. The only thing that the CM has is the gateway register. Everything else is empty. And if you go to, let me see, I have one open to lab one. It's inactive. Training, training one. That CM doesn't even have a license. <laughs> but if you do display dial plan analysis, empty. Actually, not empty because I created this entry yesterday trying, trying to show you something. Let me remove that. <laughs> Change dial analysis. And I'm going to remove that entry. But everything in that CM is right now empty. So the lab is going to walk you through creating a dial plan analysis, uh, adding the station, that's gonna be the H23 station, change note names IP, just because you're gonna create a SIP signaling group between CM and session manager, that's what you're doing here. Then you're gonna create a SIP trunk group between session manager and CM. You're gonna modify some IP network regions to add the domain that we're using right now in Session Manager. You're gonna modify the uniform dial plan. You're gonna modify the AAR table, route pattern that's gonna be using to point to Session Manager. And then once you create that zip trunk between CM and Session Manager, you're gonna go to Session Manager and you're gonna create the routing policy, right? the routing policy that points to CM creating the routing policy that points to CM, and then when the routing policy is created, you're gonna go to dial patterns, create a dial pattern, and the dial pattern in the pattern will have the pattern associated to the extension number on CM. Notice that right now in this example, the screenshot, I mean, be careful, this 24, this would be the right one for lab two. Right. In your case, it would be 14. In your case, it would be 34, right. right? Because the extension number. Another thing that I want you to be careful, when you create the entries in the AAR table or the uniform dial plan, let me show you the one, for example, in the AAR table. This yeah. is also for lab two. So that would be 12 for us. That would be, 32 that would you, yeah. And this is how to reach from CM your exit phones. So your SIP phones right now start with one. 12. I would start with one and two. Yeah. So with 12, right? Yours with 32. So be careful with that. Because normally at this point, since it says dial string X2, a lot of times you confuse the X with 10 or 20 or 30 because you know that's what we're using for IP addresses. Okay. So remember that the X here is only one digit and it changes depending on your lab assignment. Okay, then you create the routing policy, then the dial pattern, and this is from session manager to CM. So that's why it's X4 here. Because your CM stations, in this case an H23 phone, are gonna start, I mean the second digit's gonna be a, a four, and the first digit changes with your lap assignment. It makes sense, I mean when you do it, just let me know if you have a question. And then you create all that stuff, I mean the routing policy, and hopefully, if everything is okay, you should be able to place a call from one 
from sorry from the zip phones to the HC33 phones and vice versa. Let's give it a try. Yeah, let's do the phone programming itself. So. Starting in page 160. So, start a program. <coughs> Enter code. So address. So it's gonna be ninety. Oh, that's it. There we go. One ninety-two. Make sure, Andrew. I think you converted ten. One four. Save. That's on a different menu. Okay. So, I think. There it is. It should be. Well, it's just default. Oh. That's good to know. And then exit. Here we go. Well, we need to do something else with it. Oh, it'll register, but then we gotta create the routing plan so we can have it dial. Alright, so I'll move this over to the command. Change dial A and A at the end of these four. You know what? Yeah. Just move whatever you need. Four all the way down to the I'll be I'll be your reader. Oh. Nesta. Yeah, that is ASA locked. Is that you? That's for me. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made the extension. Is it me? No. No, it was me. Try it again. Is it you? Yeah. Oh, you can hit your heart. Physical contact with the lab. Who has it locked? Change dog plan. You know, that's not me. I'm not in it anymore. Yeah, let me close out of ASA completely. Good deal. There we go. There we go. Uh, at station 4401. Oh. It's in here. Well, that's what the default ARS. I mean, bell plan. Is it, is it correct? Yeah, we're good. We're good there. Okay. Yep. Let's go to the next page. At station 1401. What the? Wait. Oh no, yeah, 1401, correct. Uh, 9611. Um, security code, we'll put a name in there if you want. Yeah, I'll put it Tony is oh. okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, you gotta put us. You put the security code in. One two three four five six. I did. Oh, good, good. I right, click enter. Good. Or save it. Yeah, save it. That's it. That's it. Put, uh, put Brian in there. Yeah, put Brian in there. Put Brian Bird. There you go. That's that's better. Good. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. All right. Okay. Now, change node names IP. IP? OK. 
Okay. And we're going to oh. add our gateway. Oops. It's locked. Change. Oh, no. Node. Node. Do you have that locked? Do you have change no names IP on your screen? That's no. weird. We don't. Oh. That's weird. Oops. Let's kill that. Status session. Login. Yeah. Status logins. Yeah. I was just saying. Oh, you were just there. Yeah. Who's. Uh, that's me. That's you. No, that's not me. That's not All you. Alright, so we're going to reset login four. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Blow away. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna do a chain. You're gonna add your gateway address. So it's 192. Oh. What's the name of it? Oh, the name. Uh, that's a good question. Call it. Get, I guess we don't uh, call need it. Call it. Uh, well, call it SM. There we go. Call it SM2. You know what, Teresa? We don't need the gateway. If you want to skip down with that. Do serious? I don't know why. Yeah. The gateway. And it, I mean, if you put it, actually, it would be we, we have 10 processor dollars. Ethernet in there. We processor do have Ethernet. Ethernet. Yeah, yeah, the one that you want to add is your session manager. Okay. So one the gateway, forget So session it. manager um, will be the, um, the well, SM2. SM2. Yeah, SM2. SM, well, we're SM1. SM1, SM1 right? right? Because and we have the IP address of the SM100. Correct. What the hell? Oh, and the IP address of the SM100 as well. Okay, so we have 192. What happened? <laughs> I wasn't looking at that. What is it? Admin? Yeah. C1, C O E, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, bang. And then the proctor's already there. Hmm. Try again. Admin? Is it admin? It's admin. And then it's capital C, 1. C O E, right? C O E, 1, 2, 3, bang. Exclamation point. It's still not going to. Oh, it's training, training one. Oh. Oh, because it's ASI or something? Uh, the admin one is the... There you go, you're in. Session manager. Manually. Okay, change node names IP. Add the session manager. So we're going to modify this. Uh, yeah, because that's not even ours. Yeah, we don't even need to monitor. We'll just add it. Just ours. add it. Yeah. Right. So SM1, and that's 192.168.10.9. And we have to put the S, S1, SM100 in there too, sir? That's the SM100. Oh, that's the SM100. Oh, that's right. Okay, so we're good. So then save it. Okay, now let's go to signaling group. Add signaling group 1. Okay, so we've got, okay, so now it's the group type is going to be SIP because it's a SIP trunk and because we're going to encrypt the net transport, we're going to use TLS, which is there already, Procker because it's it's built-in Ethernet Procker, and then for node name, so it'll be our session manager node name. And on near end is processor? Uh, near end is Procker. Okay, and far end? Is the our node name. <laughs> What's SM1. Right. Got it. Foreign yes. listening ports at 5061. And foreign domain is going to be converge1.com. Okay, and then save. Enter. Okay, good. That's the signaling group. Now, right? signaling group is done. Right? Now we're going to add the trunk group. So add trunk group 1. Yep. <laughs> Somebody's kill him. Kill him. There's no trunk. Somebody's trunk. One. Yeah, it's, someone's got the data locked. The trunk from three. That's me. Yeah, you have somebody's killing us. Reset login. There you go. Four. That's it. All right. Okay. Nice. Add trunk group one. And um, group type is SIP. Oh, you gotta name a group, call it something. Oh shit, I know what's well, going um, on now. SM2. You're configuring their CF. Yeah. Are you in 10.4? Yeah. You should be in 40.4. 40, 40. Do the reset, quick. The reset because system. they've been telling yeah. me, hey, are you? why are you locking the tables? And I'm, I'm not ah, locking the tables. Somebody's and they've been kicking out that person on. at least three times, right? Somebody's That's eating right. from my bowl. <laughs> right. So Who's either in you're CM? in the wrong CM. One of you is in the wrong CM. We're in the right CM. Lab 10. Okay. Sorry, that's guys. That's okay. So we're going to get rid of their... Um, 
<laughs> Let's get rid of their yeah. no thing. Yeah. Well, at, well, at least done. we now get rid of this M4. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Those darn customers. Yeah. So make, make <laughs> sure, <laughs> hey, but, but make sure that the tables that you configure, yeah, are actually with the right information. Yeah, no, we've been reading. Yeah, we, we, we yeah. double check. Yeah. yeah, I went into my boss's office a few years ago. And said, you know, this job would be a lot easier without all these darn customers. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't miss a beat. He looked back at me and said, "My job would be a lot easier without all these darn employees." <laughs> <laughs> I went right back to my desk to work. <laughs> okay. Hang on, I'm going to remove this signaling group. Yeah. This will be yeah. somebody who added sure. things we didn't want to do. Okay. Now we can, now we can go that back the, to Edge. The, the USA was pointing one. to this. That was probably a laptop that we was, I was using here before. Yeah, they guy. got that. <laughs> they were all writing everything you were doing. Yeah, pretty much. Slam it through, man. Okay. Add, so did we add the trunk? Add, no, not yet, because you were locked. Add trunk one. It's a SIP type trunk. Uh, Name the group. <coughs> Call it CM to SM. Uh, the TAC is going to be star 03. 01. Oh, sorry. That's correct. 01. Um, direction two-way. And this is going to be a tie trunk. Good old-fashioned tie. Still lives. Uh, trunk t wait a second. Service type is tie. Okay. Method is auto. Member assignment is auto. The signaling group is one. Number of members 255. And then go to your third tab. Tab three. Okay. And the numbering format is going to be private. So calling you know privately within. And then save it. Nice. Okay. Now. Let's go back to, now let's go to the IP network region. Change IP network region one. A space, oh yeah, region, there you go. Okay, location one, the authoritative domain will be converge1.com and save it. That's it, everything oh, else. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. No, everything else is fine. Put that in the wrong. Oh. The authoritative domain. Oh, we should give it a name. Actually, they don't. They don't give us to tell us to put in the name. Okay, that's fine. All right, next step. Okay, let's go to the dial plan. The uniform. So do change. Let me make sure I spelled that right. Yeah. Converge you, one. You got it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. So next will be. Um, the dial plan. So let's do change uniform dash dial plan one. Okay. Now here we go. Matching pattern. X. Oh, X. oh one two. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. Length is four digits. Delete zero digits. So delete that. <laughs> You'll have no station. <laughs> the, net, the network topology is AAR auto alternate routing. So under net. No. Oh, under there. net. Okay. Under net, yeah. Because it's going to be internal. Uh, click enter, so save. You don't have to convert Good. anything. All right. Okay. Now let's go to the AAR analysis, and that'll be change AAR analysis one. Dial string is twelve, and min four, max four, route pattern one, call type UNKU Uncle. No. Which is unknown, yeah. It's interesting. I've never seen it like that. Um, and then save. When did you configure also routing in your session manager? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was okay. weak. Then change route pattern. You got to put the corner on there, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's um, give it a name SIP trunk. Okay, <laughs> group number will be three. Oh, we this, this, this the 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 RP six. That's what be where the RP nine is right. Now. That's exactly good. Up. Glad you put that on the really? RP <laughs> one. RP RP nine. RP nine and three. All right, so the first one will be group number one, FRL zero. And everything looks everything else is fine. 
did say nothing there. Yeah, yeah, nothing to yeah. change there. Armware screwed it up. Might be only loaded. Yeah. Next. Let's go to station manager. Okay. I mean, system yeah, manager. Excuse me. Navig. Go to elements. Go to home. Uh, Make sure you don't have too many windows right? open. System manager. Elements. So routing. Quickly check on that. And then ranges. And then ranges? Yeah, that's okay. funny. It's, they, they, it should be time ranges, but they said ranges. Okay. Oh, he created our... Uh, I created them already. Oh, you did that. Okay. I did those. Okay. Um, but now what do they say here? Ensure that 24-7 is aligned for calls 24-7, which mm -hmm. it is. Okay. Now, yeah, it's not let's, go, let's go back to elements. Yeah. Active. Routing right. and routing you know, policies. I think we just, uh, we wanted to let's make sure create a new policy. Yeah, so this one is the one that okay. should be uh, Let's give it a meaningful let's name, right? Like SM to CM. Yeah. So let's just activate that. Okay. And then, and actually, let's, oh. in the sit entity as destination, click on select. And let's select our CM. And hit select. And now let's go to the time <coughs> of day. Select that 24 7. Uh, you should be, uh, you, yes. you computing the routing now? Well, actually, In yes. Summer? Let's well, try no, this. At this point, even that. without routing, you should be able to now call from the A student three phone to the C phone. So, try that. I got because you already you have there. a C right? Yeah. What was our station here again? 12, um, 1401. 1401. And what did you make for the password? 123456. Mine's active, so Michael and I finally finished. Edie, you're in? I'm eating them in. Alright, hang on. Station? Oh, you want to call me? Go ahead. Yeah, that's the one that you go through. You shouldn't be able to call them because there's no still route. Uh, that's that's still not going through. Let me try calling you. You're 12. No, that one is going to fail. This one will fail, too. Yeah. I know, hold on, hold on. The one, no, sorry. The one from the AC23 phone should go through. Because as long as that hit session manager, it did. Yeah. The other way around is the one that should fail at this point because you're not yet configuring yeah. the routing, the net routing policy. From, at this point, from SIP to H two three two three failed. Yeah. But from H three two three to SIP, it did go through. It went by by oh, SIP trunk. Right. Okay. Okay. So we select our twenty four seven. You, yeah. You want to know something? Click on act for a second. Click on the 24 sound, just even though we have it, and hit select. Let's scroll down. Okay, no, that's fine. I, I just was wondering why ranking was zero, but that's fine. Okay. Next would be the uh, dial flat patterns. Mm -hmm. Click add. And uh, add pattern. Oh, we have to go to oh, we have to dial pattern. Oh, we have to go, well, yeah. Dial yeah. Pattern. Right. We have to create one. That now from here we do add add pattern. Yeah, so but we got 62. so but let's add let's do a new one. Okay, um, pattern name will be 14. You could try though. Min is four. Max is four. And the zip domain is converge one. Dot com. Not salt. Not salt. You just talk. Okay. All right, and now um, in the originating locations and routing policies, click Add here. <coughs> Apply the selected routing policies to all originating locations. Nice. <laughs> Actually, we can leave out Louisville. Yeah, leave out Louisville. They don't even know how to answer the phone over there anyway. Oops. What happened? Oh, I have to Same select from us. both. Okay. So oh, and yeah, routing policies. So for routing policies, click. Um, yeah, I'm, let me click. You got to click that. Yeah, because otherwise it's. Hmm? You have to select from both originating locations and routing policies sections. Okay. So let's go back to routing policies. Did it not save? Oh, I don't think we, we hit commit. We never, we have to So it's it. SM. So for routing policies. To CM, time of day is that. Is, yeah. Dial pattern is add. OK. 
Okay. So I'm going to commit this. Commit. A destination is required. Yeah, commit phobia. All right, so here's my destination. Commit. A destination is required. SIP entity is destination. That's why. Add that. Select. Now we can commit suicide. <laughs> there we go. There's our routing policy. That's our routing SIP policy. SIP to CM. Okay, so, so now, now, now we go to dial patterns, right? Yeah, now we go to dial patterns. We do new. Do new. Pattern is 1 4. 1 4. Min max is 4 4. And your SIP domain is converge1.com. And commit. Now we have to add our. Oh, correct. And then that's where you apply the. Yeah, it might as well. Might as well. Routing policy. And click that. Now we can get there. Uh, so we are going to call the right. Yeah, that's all right. There we go. There you go. And there's there it is. There's our dial, dial pattern. So now. Now I can call you. You should be able to call me. So I'm at extension 1401. Who's calling me? Hello, can you hear me? Edie, I'm in. It's Edie, you're in. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Hey, what's going on? Is it, uh, is it who's, call, who's calling you? Is it Brian? Uh, Brian Bird is calling Edie, I mean. No, Edie, I mean called Brian Bird. I thought... <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Yeah. I'm Edie, I'm in. Okay. All right, Thank, cool. Thank you. Bye-bye. Being that he's, uh, he was with the United States, uh, Navy. He probably take. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm no, no, I was okay. gonna say the United States Navy. He probably doesn't right. want to get a call from me. I mean, they probably thought we had gotten rid of that guy. Right, that's a general. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it. We completed the lab. We're done. We're done. Now you can stop it.